This is uh, turning out a little bit longer than I thought. Um, we're on to part three already, and I'm only about halfway through the list. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, this is something I've been wanting to make a video about for a long time. Um, and I will need my guitar when I do this. So I'm just going to briefly describe. Um, the title, or the working title, I'll probably change it to something more catchy as and when I make it. Excuse me. Um, is looking at the science behind music. And um, this is uh, re relating to the fact that an octave is um, a doubling or a halving in the frequency of the particular tone at that point in time. So the note A is 440 hertz. Um, so 880 hertz is also A, but it's an octave higher. The vibration is twice as fast. And on a, in terms of a stringed instrument, when you strike an open string, say you strike the A string, um, and then you fret exactly halfway along, you half the length of the string and you pluck that string again, then that's also an A, but one octave higher. And so a quarter length of the string is two octaves higher than the original note. This relates to harmonics as well, but that's... For those who aren't into guitars, that's something uh, kind of irrelevant. Um, the I, I find it interesting that an octave um, can be divided into 12 equal semitones. And then we have the major scale, which divides the octave into eight separate notes. Uh, you know, starting with the white keys on a piano, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, oh man, I can't... Yeah, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then back to C again. I'm getting distracted because there's a dog running around and I can see it in the rear view mirror. Anyway, um, something else I'd also like to introduce, which I haven't seen people do, is circular chord diagrams. Um, sometimes I, I think of the uh, a chord um, as uh, something that looks like the dial of a clock with 12 points all the way around. And C will be at 12 o'clock, D will be at 2 o'clock, E will be at uh, 4 o'clock, uh, F will be at 5 o'clock, and, and so on. Um, because the, the normal major scale sometimes jumps two semitones, sometimes jumps one semitone. Um, and so when you make a chord diagram like that, a major chord, which has only three notes, uh, say it's a C chord, this, I'm, I'm going to trip myself up here because I don't have it written down, I'm trying to do this entirely from memory. But if you, if you can imagine a, any chord, um, if it's a major chord it will have three hands, effectively and uh, you'll have the hand pointing at 12 o'clock and then you go four semitones you'll get the next one and then you go another three semitones and you'll get the next one and it doesn't matter which octave they're on um, the, the notes are the notes a C is always a C whether it's um, uh, whether it's several octaves higher or lower it doesn't really matter in terms of that particular chord diagram so the chord diagram like for a major chord it's always the same you just move it around to the different notes so the starting note could be a C could be an F could be a G doesn't matter minor chords would th the same thing would happen you, you start off uh, with one and then you jump three semitones and then you jump five semitones I think um, but it, anyway it's just it's something I suppose in this country we call it a little bit anoraki, but it's it's something I've messed around with before, and I would like to make a video about it. Um, right, changing topic quite a bit. Another video, another, another title for a video is gyroscopes and angular momentum. Now this is something which is fascinating for me. Um, I don't have a gyroscope, but um, the, the exact same thing applies to spinning a coin on a table or a spinning top. When something is spinning, then it has a certain 
uh, force which holds it in in that position. It spins in the same way. When you throw an American football or a rugby ball and you put a spin on it, it will fly through the air and the axis will keep pointing in the same direction until it lands. Um, the same thing can be applied to planets. The reason the Earth's north and south pole always point to more or less the same point in space is because the Earth is spinning. The Earth has angular momentum. Um, now, combined with this is a wobble, which we know as the precession of the equinoxes. In something as big as the Earth, it takes over 25,000 years for this to happen. But when you throw an American football, um, as well as spinning around like so, it can quite often have a wobble. It will wobble while it flies. Um, anyway, that is something which is... In, in terms of Newtonian mechanics, is not the easiest thing to get your head around mathematically, but when you see things happen, it's, um, it is possible to get an understanding of it. Um, another video title is How Big Is the Universe? Um, now, this needs a little bit of clarification. Um, we have to uh, describe what the observable universe is um, and also that then brings up the possibility of other universes or multiverses. Um, I am reluctant to promote the idea of multiverses mainly because I don't understand it that well. Um, the, the, the concept, the idea of a universe to me um, seems like the universe is everything. Everything we can see, everything that exists is part of the universe. Um, but in terms of how big it is, um, as I mentioned in the last video, I think it was part two, um, when you look out into space, you also look back in time. Uh, from that, uh, modern science has deduced or calculated that the Earth Sorry, the universe is approximately 13.7 billion years old. Um, which means we can see out uh, thir to 13.7 billion light years in terms of distance. But it's not as simple as that. Um, because of the expansion of the universe, um, we can work out that the universe is even bigger than that. Because while the light was travelling from the most distant galaxies we can see, the universe will have expanded further. So some people reckon the universe is about 90 billion light years wide. But it raises a whole load more questions because um, people ask the question, what is the universe expanding into? Um, if you were able, which we can't, but if you were able to travel to the most distant galaxies that we can see, um, the theory is that it wouldn't be any different from here. Uh, you would still see more galaxies in every direction. So wherever you happen to be in the universe, the universe looks the same. Uh, which comes back to the question of what is the shape of the universe? A complicated subject which I certainly can't do justice to in this video, but it's, it's as I said before, this is chucking out ideas for new videos. Um, it's it's also the case that um, there are many, many videos I haven't seen, so people probably already have covered a lot of these topics um, in more depth than I could. Um, right, this is a completely changing the subject again. Um, a video title, Comment Pending Approval. This is something which bugs me. It's a source of irritation when you watch a video and you want to make a comment on it and the person who has posted the video for some reason doesn't want all comments to be visible to everybody. Um, so it raises the whole issue of censorship um, and I would say cowardice as well. If somebody is putting out a video and they don't want um, criticism to be visible to the other viewers, then that, that seems a bit cowardly and it, to me, indicates the weakness of that person's argument. Um, 
So I would say there is a strong connection between weak ideas and the people who set their comments to pending approval. Um, which, from my observation, more religious people do this than secular. That's my observation. I've made it before and some people strongly disagree, but and obviously they're welcome to do that. But um, I haven't been proven wrong to my satisfaction. I'm going to stop this now and uh, continue in part four. This is going to take a hell of a long time to upload um, with my slow internet connection. So you may be watching this and not yet see part four. But I, ho I hope these are interesting and I hope that some people pick up some ideas which they might like to, to run with. See you in part four.